consistent among all XC40 models are enough shelves, containers, nooks, compartments, and storage areas to stash a solar system's worth of stuff. The automaker is on a self-proclaimed mission to end clutter in cars, which pertains to a menagerie of wires as well as drinks and crayons. There are compartments for smartphones that offer wireless charging, fold-out hooks to hang things, and a trash bin stowed in the center console. We suspect even automotive hoarders would have trouble trashing the XC40's interior. Of course, being a Volvo there are a host of safety features that the company says draw from the XC60 and XC90, but are designed for city driving in the XC40. Cross-traffic alert with automatic braking helps take the stress out of reversing onto a busy city street. The XC40's emergency braking system monitors cars as well as cyclists and pedestrians in normal driving conditions. And a 360-degree top-down camera offers a bird's-eye view to help drivers park in close quarters. On the autonomous front, the company's pilot assist system utilizes semi-autonomous driving functions for steering, acceleration and braking on well-marked roads, and will function at speeds up to 80 miles per hour. All in all, there isn't necessarily anything revolutionary happening with the XC40 but that's not necessarily a bad thing given the popularity of its bigger stablemates. As for price, Volvo says the entry-level T3 will start at €31,350, with fully equipped models topping €40,000. Overall, that's comparable to luxury rivals such as the BMW X1, Audi Q3, and Mercedes-Benz GLA class, though we suspect most shoppers will at least step up to a mid-level T5 momentum with all-wheel drive. The order banks are now open for the XC40, with production slated to begin in November and initial deliveries taking place early next year.